Mid-journey. It's not something you would expect me to talk about on this channel, but believe it or not, I'm quite into AI these days. You could use AI to do a number of things, and one of the things you can do with it is use it to create great music-related art. So check this out. Let's do some jazz art. Imagine a jazz quartet of Miles Coltrane McCoy and Jazz Club Downtown New York Detail film quality with a receptive audience. Let's see what it comes up with. Apart from fun stuff like this, you can actually use Mid Journey to create you t shirts, album covers, when you know how to query the tool. It can do some pretty awesome stuff for you. Now, for those of you that haven't played in Mid Journey, it's going to break this canvas, this template we're looking at into four quadrants. And it's going to give us a rendition of what I asked it. And it's going to give four different renditions. Sometimes it is known to combine faces and concepts but let's see do you see Coltrane in this no you see a little bit of McCoy <laughs> a little bit of McCoy but uh, no McCoy doesn't play guitar and we don't see Marcus here so that was fun but let's see if we can actually recognize these awesome individuals. So I'm going to say, imagine Marcus Miller on his bass at the blue note. New York. And let's see if we can uh, imagine McCoy Tyner on solo piano photorealistic now you got to you got to you got to give it to the tool because it knows Marcus wears that hat that's looking like Marcus already If nothing else, I'll give it I'll give it full marks for getting his dress code. That's definitely Marcus-ish. Oh, check that out. Isn't that cool? There's at least one here that's definitely like Marcus. At least the top two. And actually the bottom right, but more of the, the one at the top right. And it yeah, it's done a good interpretation of the bass. Not bad, huh? All right, let's see if it got McCoy. I think it should, based on what we uh, saw in the first one. That was the first one. And this is McCoy. Uh, kind of, sort of. Yeah, it does look like McCoy. It does. Although McCoy wouldn't... Uh, He'd dress a little bit differently, but uh, I think the one on the right, actually, they they all kind of look kind of look like him. All right, not bad. Let's see if it can render one of Miles.
I gotta put chick in there as well. So I didn't, I didn't tell it to make it hyper-realistic or photorealistic or any of those other qualities. Um, neither did I for Marcus's. It just made it kind of like a photo. Okay. Now the thing with uh, Mid Journey, it renders in like 15, 30, 60, 90, like that. So that's why you see the percentages show. Oh, it's put miles on the keyboard. It put miles on the piano. Oh dear, it's got miles on the piano and miles on the trumpet. I don't see, I don't see chick. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't get the memo. Well, miles does. I mean, he did play some keys. <laughs> this is uh, almost not quite. Is that Miles on the sax as well? Not quite, no. So the, the one that looks most like Miles, <laughs> maybe maybe the left one. You see, this is the, fu the funny part of Mid Journey. If you uh, ask it to do two people, it might combine them into... <laughs> Oh dear, on trumpet at a jazz festival with back in band. I won't give any names, I'll just say back in band. It should be able to take that and give me something half decent. Let's take a look at that one again. That that's that's kind of funny. It does I guess they all have the Miles glasses, but um, I don't see Chick. And a clone of Miles next to Miles, or Miles without his sunshades. Yeah, interesting. All right, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. So you can see it's a 60, 70% rendered, and uh, it's looking a lot more convincing with just smiles on the trumpet. Yeah, that's a nice one. It's a very nice one. All right. The one at the bottom right, well, I guess it can be argued. Definitely Miles-ish. All right, here's a final one for the evening. I'm going to ask it to imagine chick career on piano, when I met Chick, I met him at a place called Cabot Hall, Canary Wolf. Let's see if it, it can combine these different ideas. Option is required. Uh, oh, I put it outside, my bad. Gotta put it inside the prompt box. All right. Let's see if it even remotely can identify Chick. It should, because there's so many references to photos of Chick on the web. It's thinking. Ah. Oh, I'm definitely seeing a bit of chick in some of these already, even though it's just about halfway there. Oh yeah, that is chick. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that looks like the maestro. Yeah, that looks, especially the one at the bottom left and the top left. Yeah, that definitely does look, it could pass for Cabot Hall. <laughs> uh, the, yeah, it's trying to camouflage the Yamaha brand, but we know Chick plays Yamahas. That, hmm, it's uh, not sure which one that is, but they're all, they're all different without actually giving um, away the names of the pianos, but uh, yeah, it 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 didn't didn't do too badly. What do you think about Mid Journey? Do you think it did a good job in trying to craft some of these greats? 
Which one was your favorite? Comment below. Let me know if you've been playing with the tool and let me know your thoughts. Talk to you soon.